Hey guys, it's Paulie with JMP Cycles. I'm here in Austin, Texas with Crystal Hess in her garage. She's got her Indian here. She's got a couple of other bikes here. She's going to tell us all about her bike as well as what got her into motorcycles. Well, uh, I'm a nurse from Canada. I moved down here in 2011 and um, I got into a relationship with a guy who had a motorcycle shop and after a tragedy that had happened, I decided to carry on with the business and do some powder coating and then that led into uh, into a real full-fledged uh, bike passion. That's awesome. I checked this thing out at Rot Rally. Uh, speaking of your powder coating, you did a lot of the stuff on this? Uh, the powder coating is is all mine. There's no paint on this bike whatsoever, so everything that you see is is powder coat. Um, and the bike itself is a 2015 Indian Scout. It was done for uh, a bike build off uh, for IndianMotorcycles.net. It was a guys versus gals between me and a, a gentleman named Nick uh, Hakez, and we took the bikes to Daytona Beach where we uh, revealed them and had people vote on them. And uh, my bike got first. He was a close second, though, so it was a good competition. Well, congrats on that. That's awesome. You did pretty well at Rot Rally, too, right? Yeah, I got uh, first place in the street custom class. That's cool. Do you get some money with that? I did. I got some money. I got a trophy and a really kick-ass helmet that uh, was uh, custom painted. Tell us a little bit more about your bike. Like, I mean, obviously, there's a lot done here. Yeah, so the, the fabricating is a Voodoo Vintage here in Austin with the side panels and the, the seat pan in the front cowl and um, it's got a Jixer front end on it. It's got clockwork fender on it that was modified. I've got uh, K-Tech Razor shocks on the back which are awesome. Uh, Avon tires, they're road riders, they're great tires. Um, what else? Oh my my seat is actually made out of recycled inner tubes. RPW exhaust and this has got to be my favorite the uh, Dobeck Performance EJK kit which makes this thing sound like it's just eating air it's awesome that is awesome yeah. well the indian's awesome but you've got this right behind you this you say this basically you built it to dedicate it to women throughout history riding i that is true but uh this was also an experiment for me because this was one of my first bikes that i ever worked on and um as you can see it has like the hottest pink wheels that you could ever powder coat and so i powder coated these these were probably like the third set of wheels i had ever done and uh, did all the powder coating myself on the bike uh, so she's she's a, uh, got a Rika kit on it. She's just a Suzuki Savage LS650. She's cool to bomb around on in Austin, and uh, that's about it. I mean, she's got images of women in history riding. I've got some of my my girlfriends on here, my female friends, and myself. Um, but right now she's needing a little bit of love and attention, so she's up on the lift. Okay, so we've seen the garage, we've seen the bikes, we've talked about the bikes, but you know what? Crystal has something that means a little bit more to her that's in this motorcycle community that I want her to tell us about. Well, I have a nonprofit called Motorcycle Missions uh, that is, the foundation is uh, helping people with PTSD and traumatic brain injury find hope through motorcycling. Uh, there are plenty of us out there that have uh, amazing stories about how motorcycles have changed or even saved their lives. And... Um, I've been getting those people to share stories uh, through photographs and interviews. And then we also have two really exciting uh, programs. One is a motocross camp where we get uh, veterans and first responders out riding, learning how to ride motocross, um, just kind of beating their aggressions out on the, on the track. And then also a motorcycle build mentorship program where they can actually be part of a build bike build that will go you know, to various bike shows. Um, so they get to be part of the process from start to finish and uh, get their, you know, put their input in and see the bike completed and learn some new things and make some new friends along the way. So the goal is to reduce uh, the suicide suicide rate. Uh, right now with among veterans, it's 22 a day. So we're trying to reduce that. Uh, I myself had PTSD after my ex-boyfriend tried to kill himself and I found motorcycling very therapeutic and I honestly don't know where I would be today. So being a nurse and also having so many friends here in Texas who are veterans that I see struggling every day and using motorcycles to cope, I know the benefits that motorcycling has. Um, and so I wanna share that with, with the world. So motorcycle missions will be released here uh, probably in the next two weeks. And uh, I hope that we can help lots of people and get them riding. After the interview, we hopped on our bikes and headed to the bike night that Crystal hosts in Austin.
I really enjoyed my day spent with Crystal. It was really good to see how she is involved with her motorcycle community in a very hands-on way. If you want to check out what she's up to, check her Instagram.